So, hello Year 11s. Um, this video is going to help you um, plan the 6 and 9 marker for your uh, fieldwork section of Paper 3. Uh, the 6 mark question here of a past exam question was to assess the effectiveness of your data collection methods. Um, the best way to get 6 marks in this case um, is to look at uh, different data collection methods you've done. Uh, tell me uh, what was good about them and tell me what was bad about them. By assessing, you have to say both sides. Imagine sitting on the fence, positive and negatives. Effectiveness is how good they were. Okay, the key that you'll notice here, normally for six marks, you might have seen my video on how to get full marks in GCSEs. You, you have to do A1, A2, A1, A2, A1, A2 again. Okay, so A1.02 explanation. In the paper three, there is no A1 um, because there is no facts you need to provide. You need to explain and evaluate only. Okay, so in this case, here you actually do A2, A3 which is uh, explanation, uh, balance, you counterpoint, the explanation, counterpoint, explanation, counterpoint. So in this case here, you can say, for example, firstly, the land use survey helped me to understand how the land uh, use of uh, use of the land around Bristol Harborside has changed since the regeneration. You're, seeing me the positive, you're telling me the effectiveness of the methods and this method here being land use survey in the context of your human geography fieldwork. However, land use survey was difficult to do. Some of the land use around the Harborside may, be, may have been missed on the day. It's sometimes difficult to judge exactly what's in that building, how is it being used, etc. Some of it's behind scaffolding, etc. Um, that's two marks. Third mark would be, secondly, well, bipolar analysis highlights the environmental quality of different sites along the harborside after the regeneration has taken place. This kind of highlight kind of success and sustainability aspects of it. However, um, for the fourth mark, the results of this bipolar analysis were based on your own opinion. They were subjective. Therefore, different result, re the results could vary between individuals, making your results less accurate. Okay, that's your uh, second, however, and your fourth mark. Fifth and sixth mark are your third um a third fact, so in this case, questionnaires allow me to collect and uh, to collect and assess people's view of the regeneration projects and therefore better understand whether or not the regeneration was a success. However, people who spoke to may not have been from the area. They might not have known anything about it. They might have still wanted to give you an answer and that would skew results completely. When we went, it was also unbelievably cold. Um, so there weren't many people around. That will also affect the reliability of your data. Okay, so that's kind of how to get six marks for the, that type of question. For the nine mark question, um, this is how I'd plan it. Okay, so you've got, it says here, for one of your fieldwork inquiries, to what extent did your results and conclusion meet the original aims of your inquiry? Okay, so the first paragraph, I'd focus on results and anomalies, because that's the first part, it says here, results and conclusion. Second paragraph, I do conclusions and evaluation, because that's the second half of the question. Okay, so in your point, I'd say, well, uh, uh, in our results, a large range, we've got a large range of employment and leisure tourists and residential opportunities around the hub side. This point, the evidence was supported by bipolar analysis, scores are highly for cleanliness, uh, employment and opportunities, and the area generally being well looked after. That suggests the regeneration has been successful. Most buildings and open spaces are being used and, and are well presented, suggesting economic prosperity. Okay, you make a point, giving evidence, explaining what that suggests. However, the main anomaly we find was or found was a lack of green space. Um, and it was it wouldn't expect that in a popular area with high value housing. You'd also expect less uh, brownfield sites. There's still quite a few brownfield sites around Bristol Harbour site. However, you could say that due to lack of green spaces, there is an explanation for it. It's an old industrial area. They've tried to keep that um, that uh, historical element to the uh, regeneration project. So it might have been done on purpose. OK, so, yeah, there you make you explain your results and you assess your um, explaining how to help you uh, respond to the original aim of the inquiry, which is to see the success. So arguably the criticism of your result, it's not necessarily a failure of it, it might be actually the fact that we're making a point of it. OK, paragraph two, same thing. Conclusion or well, conclusions that we've got clear open spaces filled with tourist leisure and employment activities. Very different, different from disuse harbour area that was there before. Data suggests we've got high bipolar analysis scores in most areas. We've got wide range of tourist and leisure activities, high number of high end apartments and complex wide range of tertiary employment museums and banking that suggests the area is popular with tourism it's a popular place to live and it's a popular place to work however we've got some hidden land use we've got some areas that are difficult to clarify to to quantify what they're you being used for uh environment quality survey is subjective to make can make results unreliable a question i like sample size we didn't have much uh people there on the day okay um However, despite the limitations, our conclusions did meet our original aim of the inquiry, which was to see whether the Harborside project was re uh, successful. Um, and in oh, it is it's ensured that the city of Bristol has been able to shift towards a post-industrial economy. OK, so in some ways, despite its limitation, our results and conclusion proved the success of the regeneration project. OK, that's personally how I would probably go about uh, planning your nine mark.
question. I hope this helps. Obviously, there's no guarantee this will be the question in an exam. But if you if you think along those lines when planning past questions, especially nine mark questions about your own fieldwork, this should help.